Cryptic Studios has been a name that's been a hot topic since the reveal of the precisely one minute and two second long official trailer for Magic Legends. There is a lot of hype and anticipation over Magic Legends, and there are certainly some high expectations for the game. And with these expectations, I wanted to take a look at the developers entrusted to bringing us this highly anticipated game and learn more about who they are. Welcome back everybody, I'm Lord Hypnos, and today we are going to be taking a look at Cryptic Studios. As we get started with our first video of the new year, I would like to take a moment to wish everybody a happy new year and a prosperous 2020. And on that note, I would like to point out that on New Year's Day, Magic Legends tweeted that later this month we would be getting some big news in regards to the game. And guess what? Today is actually that day. Earlier today they released a video that reveals in-game footage and we will be doing a video in the near future on that so keep an eye out for that and uh, be sure to let me know what you think about it and on that note let's go ahead and jump in and get started so cryptic studios who are they we all know they brought to the table games like City of Heroes and Neverwinter, but let's look a little deeper and see where they came from and how they got to where they are today. And jumping right on into it, they were founded in 2000 and based in Los Gatos, California by Michael Lewis and Rick Dakin. I hope I'm saying that right. And Lewis was quoted saying to the Los Gatos Weekly Times in January 2007 that he and Rick wanted to do an online role-playing game having been role-playing game fans themselves growing up and thought it would be a great way to continue that experience while overcoming distances involved. And while they were contemplating what type of game they wanted to make, they had decided that there were too many fantasy and horror style games out there being developed and wanted to pursue a different alternative. And their brainstorming eventually led to the idea of superheroes, which later led to the development of City of Heroes. Taking a step back to 1999 at a New Year's party, Lewis and Dakin met Bruce Rogers, Matt Harvey, and Cameron Petty, all veterans of Atari games who had begun trying to form a computer game company, but they had lacked the funding to do so. So in 2000, Lewis sold his company, Stellar Semiconductor Inc., to Broadcom Corporation, and with Lewis's funding and Roger's expertise, the group was able to form Cryptic Studios, giving birth to the studio that will soon bring us Magic Legends. Then, later role-playing game writer Jack Emmerich joined the team to work on game design, and then moving forward a few years later, in March 2007, Cryptic Studios moved to a larger corporate headquarters in Los Gatos, California, and at this time they also adopted a new corporate logo and had employed more than a hundred full-time employees. Stepping forward to December 9th, 2008, Atari had announced that it acquired Cryptic Studios, but if we want to get a little technical, they didn't actually, but rather Atari's parent company, Infrogames Entertainment, purchased the studio for an astounding $26.7 million, as well as another $27.5 million in shares and future profits. So, Atari buying out Cryptic made it apparent that they were attempting to become a major player in the MMO world with this acquisition, but the world of MMOs can be quite unforgiving at times. So, moving a little forward to May 17, 2011, Atari announced that it was divesting of its interest in Cryptic Studios, which essentially means they no longer wanted it. And just a few short weeks later, on May 31st, 2011, it was announced that China's Perfect World had acquired the Cryptic Studios for $49.8 million. Taking a look back at the progression over the years, Cryptic Studios was independent from 2000 to 2008, and then from 2008 to 2011, they were owned by Atari. And finally, they were owned by Perfect World from 2011 to present day and beyond. Cryptic has certainly been through some changes over the years, but they have certainly held on strong. Magic Legends is certainly going to be a huge game for Cryptic Studios, and with their history and past success, I am of the opinion they will do everything within their power to make sure that this is going to be the best game that they have ever developed. That about sums up everything I was able to learn about Cryptic Studios and their history. If anyone else has anything to contribute to the history of Cryptic Studios, feel free to do so in the comments below.
As we wait patiently for the beta for Magic Legends to go live, all we can do is keep an eye on Cryptic and devour every piece of information that is thrown our way. So if you're as excited as I am for Magic Legends, hit that like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment as well as follow on other social media platforms. Links all provided in the description below. And thanks for watching and until next time.